Now at 530, the Miami Dolphins flying their flag at half staff tonight as the franchise, its fans, and the greater South Florida community mourn the loss of legendary coach Don Shula. At 90, Shula remains the winningest coach in NFL history. He was beloved by his former players, Dolphin fans, and the entire South Florida community. CBS 4's Steve Goldstein is in our newsroom tonight with more reactions to the loss of Don Shula. And Steve, he may no longer be with us, but his legacy will live for a long, long time. Yeah, really well said, Elliot. And the outpouring of well wishes is not unexpected. Don Shula was a Dolphin for 50 years of his life, arriving here in 1970 and never leaving, but leaving his mark in a big way. The scene at the Dolphins training facility, the flag flying at half staff in memory of Don Shula. His former players, fiercely loyal for decades, remember their coach. Throughout my entire 13 years of playing for him and then throughout my life, he's always been there. He's, he's that, that kind of guy, you know, the guy that uh, uh, somehow or another got more out of you than you thought you had to give. The relationship that, that you were able to build with, with one of the most iconic figures in all of sports, forget football, uh, to, to know that you have that relationship with somebody like that um, is going to stay with me certainly for the rest of my life. In 1972, Shula's Dolphins completed the only undefeated season in NFL history. A key component to that team was defensive back Dick Anderson. His purpose and our purpose was to get back to the Super Bowl and win it. And so by doing so, um, you know, we happened to win every game along the way. The golf course was bustling at Shula's Hotel and Golf Club in Miami Lakes. Fans remember the legend that built the Dolphins into a powerhouse. His legendary status goes well beyond coaching in the Miami area. And we will forever, ever uh, uh, miss him and always appreciate him. Outside Hard Rock Stadium, others expressed their sentiments, as did the NFL world. Dolphins owner Stephen Ross started with, if there was a Mount Rushmore for the NFL, Don Shula would be chiseled into the granite. Bill Belichick, Don Shula is one of the all-time great coaching figures and the standard for consistency and leadership. And the arch rival Jets sent their condolences and released this classic picture of Shula with Joe Namath at the Orange Bowl. And of course, Dan Marino on Twitter, he said Shula made him a better player and person, and he embodies the definition of greatness. Don Shula's gone, but certainly never forgotten. Elliot Rudebay? Absolutely. Goldie, how many uh, bosses out there are uh, tough, demanding, <laughs> never cut you a break, but at the same time, you love him and you respect him and you look up to him, right? You know, it's interesting, Elliot, over the last 25 years doing what I do, I've gotten lucky enough to work with and have conversations, become fr friendly with the players that played for Shula, and you got exactly that. Man, he was tough. Forget two-a-days, we used to have three-a-days. He'd be on you for every mistake, <laughs> but you know what? He made me a better person, the person I am today. That's pretty much across the board from his former players. All right, Goldie, thank you so much. And he made this he made this a great sports town, Goldie. Thank you. There is much more on the legacy of Don Shula posted for you on our website. Just head over to CBSMiami.com/sports.